What's going on everybody? This is Cloud Knight from Night Villain Entertainment here. And this video is going to be a doozy. <laughs> Not going to lie to you guys. This is going to be a complicated episode. Because in this episode, we're going to do custom menus. That's the title of this episode. So that includes making splash screens. That includes the creating the atmosphere showing that you can play videos. That includes of editing the pictures to make your own type of menu, boys. This is going to be a beefy video. I've been putting this one back because uh, I wanted to get a couple of the easier ones out because this one was going to take a little while. But let's get into it, guys. So first, let's just do something simple and easy, which is splash screens. Now, in the splash screens, you know what a splash screen is. You play a game and you see like an intro. So for example, we're just going to type in um, show picture make sure you are selecting the title screen you're in the title screen now and we're going to show a picture we're going to put it above the ui access okay so now we're going to click file i'm going to use the web rpg maker vn make rpg maker yeesh we're going to use the v vn makers splash screen here give them some credit you know what i mean we're going to use the direct i'm going to put it like right there and then we're going to make it about 2500 or 5,000, 5,000 loading. So it pops in, it's nice and pretty. And then we're gonna make it, make sure you set it to wait. And that's all you have to do to make a simple picture splash screen. We're gonna just click play. Let that, we're gonna save it, load it up so you can see the beautifulness. Let's watch this beautifulness. And there you go. So that is a picture splash screen. You can do what you wanna do in that atmosphere. You can do what you want to do in that atmosphere and make a splash screen with picture. But say you have a, your own video you want to play or you just want to make some cool things. Or say you want to do a splash screen and video. Matter of fact, can we do that? So let's do, let's do a, a splash screen and video. Let's see, is the picture back? Okay, the picture's back. But now we're going to do play movie. We're going to do play movie. And inside this movie, we're going to put it above the picture. We're going to make a blizzard. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make a blizzard. And we're going to turn up the rate a little bit. We're going to click save. And we're going to click play. Now what's going to happen is the blizzard should play. And then we're going to see the splash screen. There's the blizzard. Nice little animation. Do, 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 do. And then the picture shows itself. Bang. Beautiful. And that's how you can create simple splash screens. I'm not going to get too deep into that. But that's how you can do it. So we're going to just delete those out the way. Bang. Bang. Save. So now this is where it gets confusing. Okay. This is all this in-game UI. Because there's two templates. Remember, in episode one. No, episode two. In episode two, we created out of the action template. Because you can customize the UI right here. And then customize the pictures. But in the scripted sample you have to do all that with coding and you can add pictures and stuff you can make a simple you know um menu with your picture and stuff by going into the collections folder clicking system scrolling down with the title screen language screen menu background you can do that with the scripted very easily but this is the action one and i wanted to get into it this way now it's going to be a long one. We're going to break this down simple by simple. We already covered the splash screens. We got that out the way. That was easy, but that's not the most majority of it. We're going to continue with this. And what we're going to do is get deeper into it. So bring up the folder where your project is. Mine is the visual novel project for YouTube, resources, graphics, pictures. This is where you're going to do all the editing here. So what we're going to do, take a uh, Photoshop, go into the Photoshop, and let's see what we got here. For example, we're going to start with the basic title screen. Here we go. So we got the basic, the beginner's guide, new game, load game, option, CG gallery, quit. This is a static image. We're going to just tweak it a little bit. Let's see, what can we do with it? We can uh, filter, put a filter on it. We can blur it and all that other stuff. Image, I'm trying to figure out like, what we can do to it a little bit um you can liquefy it make it uh oh it can increase the size a little bit <laughs> that is too much but for the most part this is where it's gonna go crazy so we're gonna go into the 
Um, gradient tool. There we go. We're gonna go with gradient tool, and we can just create like a little. If I can get the right, it's so big. Why is it so big? Maybe. Uh, see that? Look at that. Do a little gradient. Okay. We got the gradient, and now make sure you reference the picture. We've got beginner's guide. We don't have to have the beginner's guide, but you've got new game, load game, option, CG gallery, and quit. So, for example, we're going to just go with some text here. Just type in. Well, why is that so big? Like 50 or something. We're going to just say new. Sheesh! 20. Can we get that down to 20, please? Okay, so we got new. I'm not a Photoshop expert, guys, so just... Don't don't make fun of me. Just bear with me here. Why is it old English text? Can we, there we go. We got new. Let's get some some fancy. There we go. New. And then we're gonna do let's copy and duplicate it. And down here we got uh, what is the other one we're gonna do? It's new. And then it's load game option. I'm gonna leave that open for reference. So we're gonna do load game. So type in load game. And then we're going to do what is the next one? It's uh, options. So duplicate again. Going to duplicate it again. Why is it not duplicating? Duplicate. There we go. Duplicate. And here we go. So we got another load game. I'm going to load it in. Type in. Cancel that. Options. And last but not least, uh, let's make sure we duplicate it again. Duplicate. We got no options. And we have CG Gallery and quit. So CG Gallery. And then the last one is another duplicate. And do. Now we're just gonna um, just control them a little bit. Got quit, CG gallery, got options, load game, and new. It looks pretty good. I don't know what the hell this is. Don't don't even don't ask. It's just some randomness. It's my it's my beautifulness. So we have it. We're just gonna save it. Now it should save into, we're gonna go to title screen idle. We're gonna export it, I guess. We're gonna export, quick export. Where's uh, how you do you export? Quick export as PNG. And we're gonna go to title screen idle. We're gonna overwrite the original title screen idle. It should be, yeah, title screen idle. So we're just gonna click it. Uh, yes. So now inside the, what the heck? I don't keep doing that. So inside the, um engine we should have the title screen completely different in game ui title screen idle is ours so when we click play you know save it load it up do, 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 do. we're gonna have our beautiful creation we have new load game as you can see it's different like see how different it looks we got new load game options CG gallery and quit but they're all not in the right positions so we're gonna fix that right now so in the title screen here we're gonna we have these things called hot spots and we need to fix these we need to fix these hot spots we got five hot spots you can see so we're just gonna drag it we got the new load game this is the quit CG gallery options and these are the hot spots so we're gonna click OK save it now we're gonna click play and you're going to have to do this every single one for every single menu. So now when we click new, our game starts. And then when we click load game, options, gallery, quit. So now we have all this. So if we click load game, we're brought to this, this craziness, this beautiful craziness. We're going to fix that up though. And then we get to new load game options and gallery and quit so now you're probably like well 
why is it got that little bar up there for it's telling you what to do and we're gonna get into that too we're gonna get into that as you can see we got our little character here it's all busted up everything's everything's going everything's going berserk right now it's okay it will be okay so now that we have all that this this thing is looking bougie but it's okay that's how you get it started so now you're gonna go back and we're gonna do the title screen hover so when we're hovering over things what will we see so all we're gonna do is we're going to bring this into Photoshop or we could just duplicate so I'm just gonna make a beautiful beautiful red X on each on each on the on the image on each thing so we have so first we're gonna mer merge all these down uh, there should be a way to just merge all but yeah merge layers merge visible so now we're just gonna I'm gonna create beautiful sheesh not doing that a step backwards we want a bigger nice juicy big one there we go X oh my goodness all right, that's maybe it's too big another step backward trial and error guys trial and error about 27 I should have just went live for this episode oh my god that's just too big it looks just dumb okay here we go come on uh, three times the charm let's just increase the size it's like 15 there we go now we can get away with that little X little X little X I don't like that one. That one's butt. These, this one's fine. That one's alright. That one's okay now. Okay. Okay. I don't care. We're good now. So now what we're going to do is file save it. We're going to quick export this as um, the hover. Title screen hover and click save. Click yes. And now we're going to go back to our visual novel. So we click play. I'm going to click it. And we got this so as you can see we can see our X's a little bit not really but we can I see one X fix the hot spots let's see they fix the hot spots here no the hot spots are fine do, do, do. Hmm. but yeah it's all trial and error here but the hotspots are fine. It's just, uh, I guess, the way it looks. I'm not really too 100% sure. As you can see, it's still there. But we have, like, the little X's and stuff. Hmm. But, then again, there is so much things we haven't even did as well. Like, example, we have... Uh, all these different things pretty much there's just so much and they're not it's not in the icons or anything like that it's all in the pictures all in in-game ui and then we have flexible this stuff it tells you how to do it and we got the in-game ui example and it's got all these stuff right here and that's what we've been working on slowly here uh i'm trying to find the little um things but I just can't find them interesting but as you can see we have the picture we have it there for the hover and stuff like that probably have to do with the hotspots so we're gonna just make the hotspots a little bit better so let's just change the hotspots let's make them bigger can make them bigger there we go. we're gonna make it cover everything that's one make it nice and big cover everything and same with the options come on come on you come on you put it up there let's make it nice and big nice and juicy Come on, boy. Pull that all the way out there. Put this up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, bros. Try I'm, bear with me, guys. I'm trying. 
And we've got our quit. Okay. Almost there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Should be able to just save it and see what happens. So, there we go. So now we have the X there, the X there, the X there. It's a little bit caught out because it's the way I have it set up, but it, it's there and it's working, as you can tell. It's all trial and error. If I make those bigger, for example, if I make the hotspot bigger, if I take this hotspot, because the where the picture is, not you. Where the heck, where did all that come from? Where this picture is, the X is so far away from the new. So if I just increase the range like this, now and then we do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. See, now it shows the complete X. So it's all trial and error there. But that's how you do that part. So now you're probably wondering, okay, that's cool. So now we got load game. How can we fix the load game? And then and, and the options and stuff. We're going to get into that. So exit. It's all done in Photoshop. It's all done in Photoshop, guys. So we're going to go into the uh, options. Let's see. And we're going to get into the mess, uh, message box. We're going to do custom message box in a separate video. This is just the... Uh, custom menus but the message box are the same way except you just have to rely on call commands which I'll still have a tutorial maybe episode 7 but we'll see about that so we're gonna go to the idle of the settings just click it bring it in there we go so well first we should probably just do a new file should just close this file cancel should just close all close it don't place and just close no Okay, there we go. So now we're going to drag it in. So we get the exact file size. Now this one's a little bit harder. Because it's like, whoa, man. You got so much stuff going on here. So much stuff. You got arrows. You've got settings. You got all this stuff. And it's all cool. We're going to get uh, get it done. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this sheet. And I'm just going to copy it. Can I copy it? I'm going to cut it. And then we're going to paste it as its own layer. Put it right there. And I'm just going to do a new. Oh, it is its own layer. Okay, whoops. Sheesh. And then we're just going to make it go away. Now we're going to go back to our gradient tool and do some beautifulness with our gradient tool here on the other layer. We got, there we go. We got this beautiful. I need it black though. I need it to match the. Got some beautifulness here. Uh, come on, I want to get a nice. There we go, I want it nice and nice and nice here. And then we're just gonna paste it. This in there. There we go. So we got this here. We got this picture here. It does not fit in at all. It does not fit in at all. But I'm gonna move it to the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this layer, move it over here, and then I'm going to. I want to make it. Fit Fit, make it look good. Oh, there we go. Let me just stretch it out a little bit. There we go. Why not? Let's stretch it out a little bit. That's what she said. And then I want to make it blend in. Opacity 50. So now it's like it's blending in. We're going to apply everything. And of course, we're going to be able to change that as well. Like, say you don't want the settings. So we're just going to delete the settings. So let's just get rid of the settings. Get rid of this. Cut it out. I'm just gonna bootleg it and put uh, menu. This is bootleg 101. You guys can do much better things than I can. All right, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. I'm gonna leave all this stuff right, but I'm gonna bootleg these two, cause just for kicks, just for lo, just for the the memes. This is just for the memes, guys. It's not. Don't take this serious. Sheesh. Let's get over here and get that gone. Get out of my screen, boy. And it's gonna just call it title. 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 Make it there. Yeah, apply. And we're gonna get rid of we're just gonna get rid of that global data crap. Get a better picture of it. There we go. 
chop it up. Bye bye. Text on it. I'm just gonna say reset. Wow. Doesn't this menu look so professionally done? It's a freaking beautiful menu, guys. So we're just gonna file export, quick export as a PG into the idle. It's gonna overwrite. And then we're going to make a uh, a special thing. So when you're selecting stuff, for example, so I'm gonna make the text red. Red text. Red text everywhere. Alright, and then we're gonna just we'll copy and paste this arrow. See in here, just cut it. And then I'm gonna repaste it. And then I'm going to do something, but that's not what I want to do. So then I'm going to take it and I'm going to somehow colorize it red. Let me see. Filter. No, not filter. I want to just colorize it. Type. Select. Image. Edit. Where is the colorize? Image. Auto tone. Auto color. Oh, wait. First I got to place it. Apply. Okay, then I can take it and then adjustment. There we go. Colors, color balance. Let's make it red. That's cool. There we go. I like that. This is just for tutorial purposes, guys. This is not, don't take this serious, man. This is not anything to be crazy about. So we're just going to file um, quick export as PNG. And this is going to be the The settings hover. We're just gonna save that, replace it, and then we're gonna go into our virtual novel maker. Click the play, so we can look at our ridiculousness. So we're in the menu here. We're in this beautiful, <laughs> this beautiful creation, and we're gonna click. Uh, what was it we we did? The options. So here's our options. As you can see, we gotta fix it though, but we have everything's there. It's kind of working. So now we're going to go to the settings menu and we're going to look for the hotspots. There's nine hotspots here. So just click it. Make sure you look for the hotspots when you make this. It's called show image map and look for the hotspots. So this is one hotspot. This is where the, the color of the arrow changes. So it's going to do that. This is another hotspot. Um, this is a hotspot that we know of. So just get that up there. Down. This is a hot spot. Just drag it over. Stretch it out a little bit. It's beautiful, guys. This is a, this is amazing. And then we have uh, the med, the full screen, the window. I want these to be under the hot spot. So we got unread, read, voices, and choices. Okay. And we're just going to click OK. And we're going to save it. And we're going to click play. And then uh, we'll check it out. And you would pretty much keep doing this through everything that you want to test. So, OK, we're going to go to options. As you can see. What the? That works. There we go. We got one hotspot working. The window. OK, window. Full screen. There we go. So. One thing too, to um, understand too, make sure I forgot to do this, but make sure you like, if you're going to do like window, make sure you fill it in and then, oh, I got to change the slider too. The sliders are all, the sliders are all off. Sheesh. Look at that. The pictures are all off with the sliders. We're going to fix that though. We'll fix the, we'll fix that and then all that. So, okay. But we do know it works. We just had to fix those. We didn't fix those. Reset title. That. Why is not title gone? Why is not title gone? Hold on. Nine hot spots. That title should be. Title should be clickable. All right. Let's fix the sliders. So we're gonna go to the sliders. Do 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 do. 
Mm, mm, mm. That's tech speed, tech speed, update slider, tech speed. So to do these, you're going to have to uh, yeah, stream transition, save settings. Yeah, to do the sliders, you're going to have to. Uh, that's the full screen. And this is setting it to full screen. This is how it all functions. I'm just I'm just trying to find out how where the sliders at on drag. Here we tweak the sliders. Okay, so here we go with the sliders. So um set game data. Tech speed, boot boop, boop, on drag, boot boop, boop. Boot boop boop boot boop boot boop. So we got the maximum value of five. It's storing it on drag, medium, on drag, SFX. But where's the hotspot for the drag build? We have the update slider. See how it's there? We want to fix it. We need to fix it, bro. Now I'm trying to figure out, do we fix it in the images? Hold on, let me see. We got, no, we got the sliders. The sliders are by themselves. They have nothing to do with the, uh, with the things, but they're over there. I want to get them. Are they on a... We want them over. We want them over more. We know the picture ID is one. We know the picture ID is one, though. Hmm. It looks like I might be a little stumped here with it, cause I'm trying to figure out where the. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Set to skip message screen value off. Skip all messages. So full screen mode. But yeah, we have all that. The only thing we're looking forward to is the sliders. And I think I'm a little stumped on them right now. Because we have the update slider function. And it's under a, a global event. Or a call. A common event, sorry. Max value 5. So let's see. Let's check out our common events here. Let's find out where we're going here. We're going to go to the uh, settings menu. The sliders. Okay, picture. So here you go. Like you got the X and Y of them. This is where they would go. So um, what was it? Five or five or something? <laughs> I don't know. Let's we'll save it, and we'll go back to where the sliders were. Where are they? That's the settings sliders. So it looks like I moved them. It looks like I moved them correctly. So we're gonna. So that's how you do the sliders. You just had to go here. Um, so five and so with y, x is right. X is this is is horizontal. Y is uh, vertical, right? So just move them ten. Move them over by ten, and we'll just keep playing with it until we find it. Sorry guys, I know this one's a little complicated. This is why I've been putting it off. But we're still doing, we're still working on it here. Seems like it needs to be moved way more than 10. Uh, it's on the right, it's on the right thing. We just got to move the, move them more, move them 10. So I'm going to just be like, oh, just move it 100 and let's see if it goes anywhere. And, and then I'll know for sure if I moved, if I'm moving the right, uh, right thing. Come on, baby. Uh update sliders I, I'm moving it right I know I'm not losing my mind here I know I'm moving the I typed in a hundred let's see if we see it in the menu see if there's any change in the actual menu because sometimes the live preview is glitchy but yeah but this is for the most part how you do it guys it's all trial and error and this is how you create custom menus it's a process it is a long process Seems like I overlapped uh, two. Two got overlapped here. Oh no, the audio is just not popping up. Hmm. I mean, it's closer than it was, wasn't it? I think it's closer than it was before. We'll find out. You seen that little transition I created with the with the menu? That was actually kind of cool. Let's go back to that real quick. I didn't even mean to do that on purpose. That was just com completely on a uh, on accident. Let's just do that real quick, and then and then we're going to end the tutorial here. The sliders is just trial and error. We'll be able to fix those. And then I'll go deeper and maybe I'll redo a return of this tutorial.
and go into it. So options. Let's look at this little thing. Look, see this? Watch this. Watch this little. See that little? That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool here. Boom, boom. And we're gonna. I'm gonna uh, keep messing with the sliders, and I'll do an update. Uh, a little, maybe a small update on fixing the sliders, or you know, making a better, more advanced menu. Um, and you know, giving you guys more ideas and stuff. But this is for the most part, guys. It's all about going in and tweaking the pictures to your liking and using the Photoshop to get it done. And then just trial and error, trial and error, and just doing what I did. Going in, whoops, I keep doing that. I'm sorry, guys. Just going in, looking for the hot spots. Where are they? So we're going to go back to the title screen. Just going in, look for the hot spots of your creation, load it up, and then. Just the same thing, load menu. When you have the load menu, you're gonna look, there's 14 hotspots. So when you create your menu, boom. And there's the there's the load. When you create the options, the saves, it's the same thing for the saves. Look for the hotspots, replace the picture in Photoshop, boom. And then the gallery, and boom. And you can create your own. You don't have to do what I just did. Like you saw what I did with the menu. I completely, I completely wiped the menu. I, I wiped the whole menu and and just made my own text my own little background and i just set it up to look like that so and, and it's just just copy what i just did and use this knowledge to to help create and you will have your own custom um menus for your title screens and and all that so we are going to get into the custom message box in the next episode and well no yeah we're going to probably do the custom message box in the next episode and we'll get into how to fix that while i already have photoshop open and stuff like that and um, I'm not sure how long this video is, but God bless. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Sorry if it got a little complicated, but um, I know this was in demand a little bit. And I also know the translations are in demand. We're going to do those. We're going to cover those. We're going to cover the translations. We're going to cover um, the, the message box, how to change them and stuff like that. We're going to get into it. So God bless, guys. I will see you in the next episode.